You are a wealth builder. So the affirmations presented here are for you to listen to daily to build up your wealth, decrease the worry, build up your success and decrease the stress because you will possess what you confess. Know that your words have power, your thoughts have power, your actions have power to attract into your life what you focus on. Practice. Your health is your first wealth. Daily commit to daily good habits of eating, rest, drinking water, exercise, letting go of the drama and the stress, letting go and letting God. As you do this, you focus on your purpose and your passion to focus and visualize the things that you want to experience, to monitor the words that you speak, to believe that anything is possible, to serve others with integrity, to become wise in your time management, your saving and your planning, to give back where you are spiritually fed, to live out the principles of faith and to walk with the promises. As you do this, you begin to have integrity and abundance in your life. Make sure that you honor your time and your talents and others around you will begin to honor and respect your time and your talents, which can produce and generate income. Every day, confess with your mouth that your bills and debts are decreasing and your income is increasing. Expect abundance from unexpected places. Begin to know that the Lord is your shepherd and you shall not want. Have the courage to communicate with your bill collectors. And this certainly reduces any stress. You are a wealth builder. You are a kingdom builder. You are God's golden child. And the law of abundance responds to your level of faith and your level of gratitude. Show appreciation to God and to others around you. Seek first the kingdom of God and everything else will be added unto you. Seek ways to express more peace, more compassion, more love, more patience, more understanding. Seek ways to serve more. Seek ways to walk more in your faith and to endure challenging times. As you do this, other things will be added unto you. You'll be able to break the strongholds of fear, worry, lack, limitation, and greed. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. And what you think about you bring about. As a man thinketh, so is he. So be careful of the thoughts that you think be because they become your words. Your words become your actions. Your actions turn into habits. And habits are hard to break because habits become your character. And it is your character that determines your destiny. Where will you be this time next year because of your words, your thoughts? your habits, and your character? What are the dominant thoughts that you think about every day? Build up your confidence to believe that you can be, do, and have whatever your heart desires. Begin to focus your energy towards God and towards your goals. Believe that you can accept and give and share the best that life has to offer. Begin to speak about those things that bring about and attract opportunities and blessings. Seize your opportunities and see the opportunities all around you. You have choices and possibilities that are expanding around you every day because you believe in the promises of God. And as you begin to activate your faith and begin to act on your ideas and your imagination, you can generate more income. Your ideas will allow you to expend less physical energy because now your ideas are going to work for you. There may be a book or a ministry or a business inside of you that can generate income. Begin to confess the things that you want to possess. There is power in the tongue. There is power in what you say. Focus on wealth, not struggle. Focus on wealth, not worry. Begin to say that the Lord is your shepherd and you shall not want. Begin to focus on these things. Begin to focus on your possibilities. 
abilities and your gratitude. As you begin to activate your faith, you will grow out of any comfort zone. You will grow out of the box of worry, the box of fear, the box of limitation. You'll begin to seize opportunities around you and money will come from all different directions. Begin to say that I receive the blessings of God from expected and unexpected places. Open up your mind to abundance, the Alpha and the Omega. Begin to give and to receive. Don't block your blessing or block anyone else's blessing. Begin to know that God's mercy and grace and provision is raining down on you from heaven. Stand on your holy ground. Let God be the lifter of your head. Stand on your holy ground, reaching up for the blessings of God. And always know that it's not all about you having the blessings. It's about you being a blessing to others so that you can begin to experience financial freedom that is within you. The financial freedom to roll through this recession, knowing that you can be free of worry and doubt and fear and the strongholds that lock you down from believing that God is your Jehovah Jireh. Begin to confess what you want and you will possess those very things. There is life and there is death in the tongue. Begin to follow the path of financial freedom by praying and studying, sharing, giving, serving, expressing gratitude, repeating the affirmations of prosperity will allow you to attract the blessings of God, to attract abundance and opportunities. Doors will begin to open up to you as you speak the words and your words become your actions and your habits and your character. You'll be able to roll through the recession, being resilient, having faith, having power, having strength. You're able to roll through this recession knowing that God is on your side and that the Lord is your shepherd. Align your mind with God's truth. Align your mind to the truth that God is Alpha and Omega, that there is no lack in God. Align your mind with God's promises that you are God's child and you shall lack nothing. Align your mind with God by transforming your thinking from worry to wealth, from stress to success. Be proactive. Say that I am secure in my finances. I am blessed. I am favored. I am focused. I am proactive. I appreciate God and I appreciate those. Who's your shepherd and you shall not want. 